hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is susetale on today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful top that you see me wearing the other day i shared a video on the pattern drafting but today's video is going to be on the sewing so guys let's get started These are the pattern pieces we drafted the last time and this is what I'm going to be using to cut on fabric for this tutorial video. You can see guys, I already went ahead to cut all the pieces for the sake of time. You see this is the center front, you see it is on fold and as well my fabric is cut on fold. So I went to cut uh, the piece one, I have two of it, I have two pieces of it and as well the same thing to the piece two, the center front is two pieces and the back as well is two pieces. Pieces. While I was cutting it out guys, I added half inch sewing allowance to all the sides, you see. I added sewing allowance to all the sides except the sides where I will be joining the back piece to the front. You see guys, I did not add sewing allowance here because we already added 2 inch sewing allowance while we were drafting it out on the pattern paper. I also went ahead to cut the same thing out for the lining piece. I have this part guys that I cut out which I'm going to be using to pad the core so guys you are going to see how I'm going to use it uh, in the process of this video so I'm just going to place all these things aside now and we'll go ahead to start joining all the pieces together now before I join the pieces first of all I'm going to iron hair stain to the actual fabric and I'll iron paper gum to the lining pieces So guys, I'm just going to iron it to it like this, to all the pieces like this. So this is what I have when I was done ironing the hair stain on the paper gum to all the pieces. You can see guys, I've ironed it to all the pieces. So right now, I'm going to relabel the cups so that we won't get confused while we are sewing so i'm just going to place the cups on the table um this is cup one and cup two so i'm just going to label it cup one i will label the other one cup one and i will do the same thing to the other cup cup two and cup two so guys with this now we are not going to get confused you see i also went ahead to do the same thing to the lining piece so right now i'm just going to place the lining piece aside while we start working on the actual fabric so i brought out the two cups of the actual fabric i'm going to take one of cup one and the other one of cup two so i'm just going to join them right sides facing each other and i'm going to pin it down So guys, this is what I have after I was done pinning it. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other cup. I'm done doing it as you can see. Right now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I will sew it down with half inch. This is what I have after I was done sewing guys. You can see I've joined it with half inch. Right now I'm going to bring my ball and I'm going to place the cup on the ball like this. I will open up this place where I joined it together and I will, I'm going to iron it flat just the way you see me doing right now. You see how it's looking guys, you're just going to flip it to the front and you also just iron it out. So after doing this guys, I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other cup as well. This is what I have after I was done doing that, I mean after I was done ironing the two cups. So right now I'm just going to place the cups aside and I will bring uh, these other pieces, the center front and the side front and I'm just going to join them together. So I'm going to place them on the table like this and I'm going to join these parts to these parts that it belongs to. So I'm just going to use a pin now to pin it down for you guys to see. How it's going to look i will do the same thing to this other side you see guys so right now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i'm just going to run a stitch on it like that this is what i have after i was done running the stitch you see so i'm also i'm also going to do the same thing to it which is i'm also going to iron the same flat so i'm just going to open it up 
as well and I will iron it flat just the way we did for the cups. Now guys, the next step is for me to add the burning case. I'm going to be using this black cotton bias to do that. So I'm just going to place it on the part where I joined it together like this and I'm going to pin it down. After doing that, I will do the same thing to the other parts, the other side where I join it and as well, I will do the same thing to the middle, I mean the center. So guys, you see, this is what I have after I was done doing that. You see how nice it came out. So right now, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm just going to run a stitch on the both sides here and the other side. I will do the same thing to all the other ones. So guys, this is what I have after I was done running that stitch. Let me show it to you. You see guys, the stitch is so straight and all that. So this is what I have after I was done doing that. So right now I'm going to place this aside and I will bring the curves. So um, the next thing is for me to add the part to the curves. So I'm going to take one of the curves, one of uh, piece one and piece two, and I'm going to join it together like this. Um, the gum, the part that has the gum being the part that is outside, and I will do the same thing to the other piece. So this is what I have after I was done joining it, guys. You see, I decided to join it on top of each other like this so that it will be flat. So I just joined in together like this. You see, guys. So and I did the same thing to the other piece as well. So right now I'm going to bring the ball, and I will bring the the actual cup, actual fabric cup itself. So I'm just going to arrange it. The, the part that has the gum facing up like this so I'm going to place it to the part of the cup that it belongs to just like that and I'm going to start ironing it so I'm just going to place it on its inside like this the gum part facing it like that and I'm going to place it on the ball and gum it to the actual fabric using the hot iron so after doing this guys i'm going to do the exact same thing to the other cup so this is what i have after i was done doing that now i'm going to bring the front piece and um, i'm just going to place it on the table like this you see now it's time for me to attach the cup to the uh, front piece so i'm just going to place it on it like this and i'm going to peel it all around till i get to the end So guys after i was done doing this this is how it's going to look like you see it's already looking as if i've joined it when i haven't so i'm just going to do the same thing to the other cup you see i'm done doing that for the sake of time i just did that off camera you can see how it's looking right now so right now i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and i will sew it on it like that this is what i have when i was done sewing you see how it looks guys you see i'm done joining it today fabric and it came out so nice already so right now i'm going to bring the back pieces and i'm just going to place it on it on the sides like this you see and i'm going to pin it to it but before i pin guys i'm going to take the measurement you know when we were drafting it out on the pattern paper we added two inches for the joining allowance so i'm just going to be measuring that two inches now and i'm going to roll a line before i pin it together so now after i'm done rolling this line i'm just going to pin it together like this and i will do the same exact same thing to the other side so this is what i have after i was done doing that right now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and join it so guys i'm done joining it and this is how it came out so right now i'm just going to cut out some of these allowances so i'm just going to cut from it and i'm also going to join it together and trim out all these parts that are not uniform you see i'm just going to trim it and make sure everything is looking uniform and nice so this is it guys this is what i have after i was done trimming i'm also going to trim this this part the down part of it so i'm just still going to trim out the excess that we have here just like that so guys this is what i have after i was done trimming 
Now guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to also add cutting bias to the end part of it here where I'll be putting the loop case. So before adding it, I'm just going to leave about half inch where I'm going to be facing the loop case. Then I will add the cutting bias. You can see what I did guys. So I went ahead to add it just the way we did for the front. So guys, as you can see, I went ahead to join the lining piece together just exactly the same way we did for the front piece. So I'm just going to place this aside now and I'm going to work on the strap. I already have the strap that I have cut out. It is about 14 inches long by 2 inches wide. So right now, I'm just going to fold it together and I will take it to the sewing machine and sew it down. I will do the same thing to the other one. So guys, this is what I have after I was done sewing. I also went to flip it out and iron it out. So guys, the next step now is for me to put bony inside all the bony case that we have. As you can see guys, I went to stitch all this part down so that my bony will not come outside. So I already stitched it down. So right now, I'm just going to make sure my bony gets to the end. And I will draw it out about half inch before cutting. Why? Because we have to put the bony inside so that we will have a space where we are going to sew. So when you cut it like half inch less like that, then you're going to pin it down. I'll do the same thing to all the other case. This is what I have after I was done putting all the bony inside the case. Right now. I'm going to take it to the machine and I will tack all these parts that I pinned. This is what I have after I was done tacking it guys. Right now I'm going to bring the lining piece. I will make sure I place it right sides facing each other like that. But before I, I do that I'm going to bring um, the strap and I will measure about 4 inches which is exactly the place where I joined the two cups together so i'm going to place it on it and i will pin it down and i will do the same thing to the other side as well so after pinning it to the front like that guys i'm also going to pin it to the back you see how i did it guys so i'm just going to turn it to the other side and you place it's on the back so i'm going to measure three inches from where i join the back piece to the front piece before i pin it down so you do the same thing to this other side after doing this now you will place the lining piece on the actual fabric just like this and i'm going to take it to the sewing machine now guys and i'm going to sew it like that and i'll do the same thing to this other side so guys this is what i have after i was done sewing you see this is what i have after i was the only part i did not sew is the sides you see because i'm going to be flipping it out from there you see guys this is what i have after i was done flipping and ironing you see how it's looking really nice so right now i'm just going to place this aside i already have um, um fabric that are folded like this you see how long it is so this is going to be for the um lacing of the uh, loop so and this other one is going to be for the loop case so i'm going to measure two inches like you see me do right now and i'm just going to use that two inches to cut out as many as i can out of that day you see i have all the ones i've cut out so i'm going to bring the fabric now and i'm going to work on this part i'm just going to fold it in like the way you are seeing me doing right now so guys please pay attention so that you understand what i'm doing here you see how i'm pinning it i'm just folding it in i'm going to fold it in like that and i will pin it with a pin i'm just going to keep doing that till i get to the end so guys this is it just keep folding it in and folding it in then you secure it with a pin till you get to the end and when i'm done doing it to this side i will do exactly the same thing to the other side as well you see guys you see what i have now so i'm going to do the same thing to this side this is what i have after i was done pinning the both sides together right now i'm just going to iron it out
so guys now that i'm done ironing i'm going to remove the pin i'm going to remove the pin after removing the pin you just open it up you see guys it is flat now so this was the reason why we did that now i'm going to start putting my loop case i'm just going to fold the loop the uh, rope that i'm going to use to create the loop together like this and i'll place it on the hole like that and i'm going to secure it with a pin after doing this guys i'm just going to measure like a distance of about just half inch just half inch before i put another loop so i'm just going to keep doing that until i get to the end guys you just keep doing it you see this is what i have after i was done doing that now i'm going to do exactly the same thing to this other side you see guys this is what i have after i was done doing it to the both sides right now i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and i'm just going to sew it down sew it like two times so that the loop will pull out this is what i have after i was done sewing guys you see how it looks so nice right now i'm just going to lace it up with this long rope guys i'm just going to lace it up and after lacing that will basically be all for this tutorial video guys see how it's looking guys it's looking so beautiful you see so this is it this is how it looks after i was done listening it's nice right so guys this is how to make a simple corset crop top let me know if this video was helpful if it was straightforward if it was easy to understand in the comment section thank you guys for watching i'll see you in my next video bye